tell you I've been to London before. <laughs> it's been a while. I met up with Sam Holland recently in London to play a game that he's titled Lens Roulette. The rules are really simple. We each roll a dice that will decide which of the six chosen locations we'll be shooting in. And then after we do that, we then spin a bottle between the five Lumix S primes and have to shoot in that location with whatever lens it lands on. If you enjoy this video, then please be sure to head over to Sam's channel as well to watch his take on the challenge and subscribe to him if you haven't already. Right, so we're gonna roll the dice for the first location, see what we get. Six. Soho. How far is that away? So, yeah, 35. You, you got the 35. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the 35. Right, what are we saying? What's that? Okay, so number four, that's St Paul's Cathedral. I mean, that's going around the 24, I guess. 24. With our locations and lenses decided for us, we then went to Soho, which should only take around five minutes from Leicester Square, but Sam stops every five seconds to film something. He's being very polite, but I think I'm annoying him already because I keep stopping if you get shots. So you have to find a ginger person. Right, okay. Okay? Got one. Quick, give me a Sam's attempt to find a ginger person didn't count because the shot was out of focus and not intentional by any means. So, no points for him. I decided to bring a gimbal with me for this challenge. However, Sam decided to pack as light as possible since he was moaning about carrying loads of gear up a mountain the week before or something. So he just went handheld. Since Sam didn't successfully complete his first challenge of getting a ginger person meaningfully in his sequence, we headed to St. Paul so I could take my first stab at this game. Is Sam filming in the location that's not his? <laughs> Trying to redeem myself from <laughs> all the awfulness that I got in. Yeah, so what is my challenge for this location? Your challenge is you've got to find and cap, not capture. <laughs> you've got to find you've and got, capture. You've got to find a lady wearing a red skirt. Okay. Unfortunately, I didn't find any ladies dressed in red skirts in the whole of St. Paul's, so it was zero for me as well. Meaning that after the first round, we tied nil-nil. Location number two. One, Piccadilly Circus. Spinning the bottle wasn't working because all the ground is uneven, so we're gonna resort to using the dice again. All the even numbers are gonna be the 85 mil, all the odd numbers are gonna be the 50 mil. Right, here we go. Right, 85 mil for me. That means that I am left with a 50 millimeter since it's the last lens. What was one? Piccadilly Circus. Oh, so we're in the same place? Yeah. Sweet, so okay. That's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, cool. I'm actually happy with that. A really nice thing about the Panasonic 1.8 Primes is that they're all the exact same size and very similar in terms of weight. So you don't actually need to rebalance your gimbal when you're changing out lenses, making things super easy for me on the day. So what Josh is gonna have to find is somebody taking a selfie and it can't be me. Okay. Yeah? It should be fairly easy where we are right now. What do you think to that? taking a selfie, did I just get that one? Where? Do you not see it? <laughs> okay, so Sam, your task for this one is to find someone with a push chair or a buggy. Push chair or a buggy, does it have to be occupied? Uh, yes, it has to be an <laughs> occupied push chair or buggy. Okay, I think I can do that. And I've got to include it in this B-roll. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> So 
So, since Sam was able to find an Occupy buggy, we were drawn 1-1, meaning that we decided to break the tie with a simple roll of the dice. Right. Um, I'll take odds. May the odds be in my favour. You're going to go odds, I'll go even. Ready? And what is it? It's a five. It's an odd. Unbelievable. I hope you guys found this video somewhat entertaining. It was really nice to hang out with Sam and do something that wasn't so serious and instead just a bit of fun. Being told that you have to use one lens in a location that's decided for you is definitely a big challenge, but I think it can actually help to develop your skills as a videographer, as you're sort of forced to think on the spot to try and make the best with what you have at your disposal. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, then please make sure to head over to Sam's channel as well to watch his version of this video. But yeah, thanks again for watching, and hopefully I shall see you in the next one.